Inside Lake Mary High School is a classroom. Now, if it's dark or the sun's over there... And that looks like the headquarters of a science lover's fan club. You can kind of tell by the room that he's a little strange. And then kayaking all the way up to the sand. He is Luther Davis, who teaches physics and astronomy here to students who are his biggest fans. In the past... To me, Mr. Davis is our Carl Sagan. He's our Miss Frizzle. He is so much and much more than that. Definitely like the most, like enthusiastic person. He's probably my favorite teacher that I've had at Lake Mary. That might be because Mr. Davis likes to connect his lessons to the real world. He's like head over heels about anything. If a pencil drops, he's ready to he's ready to talk for an hour about the physics of it. He's also not afraid to get personal. We, we just love kayaking. We like helping people. Out. He loves to share stories. He's so fun and he tells us so much about his life. And his life is about to get a lot more interesting. What I'm trying to do is actually something unique. I'm trying to follow the, a path of a raindrop. In order to do that, he's planning an eight-day adventure that starts with a 3.6-mile hike, 16-mile kayak, and then a 164-mile swim. Now let's put this into perspective. A 6.2-mile swim is considered a marathon. Part of the swim will be in the St. John's River, which is known to be home to a lot of alligators, but he's not worried. That, that is a concern that I've kind of put to, at rest for me. It's, it's not the height of alligator mating season, so I don't have to worry about any of those territorial issues. And I'm always going to have support vessels literally within feet of me. And that's part of their job too, is to kind of watch for those obstacles. He and his volunteers are planning to travel between eight to 10 hours a day. I might run into some issues and we'll just adjust on the fly. He's doing all of this in hopes that this trip will inspire his students and the world to pay attention to environmental issues affecting Florida's wildlife. I do hope people feel that they've been inspired to understand that the St. John's River and even Florida as a bigger perspective is extremely valuable and we need to kind of treat it from those perspectives. It's, it's a wonderful resource. Mr. Davis will celebrate the start of the swim portion of the trip with a send-off party on Saturday, March 17th, and his biggest supporters are all expected to be there. He's like an idol here. He's like, you know, everyone wants to be Mr. Davis, everyone wants to support him, and that's just crazy that I have such a positive following through everything. He is everything that you could expect a science teacher to be, and I absolutely love him. I hope that he continues to teach forever. Good luck. Please don't hurt yourself, and have a nice swim. For OrlandoSentinel.com, I'm Kayla O'Brien.